Hello my dear students welcome to my channel I am Chintana Sapodhanri Today I am going to explain another important theory in our level syllabus right value added tax It is a tax on domestic consumption of goods and services If we develop an equation for this we can find cost plus vat equal to selling price actually the cost here means manufacturing cost plus profit or else we can say without vat plus vat equal to with vat if i assume my vat percentage is 10% i can integrate percentages for the second equation like this 100% is the without vat amount my assumed vat is 10% therefore with vat is 120% if when if we are going to analyze our vat we have to focus on double entries of vat so double entries for purchase and sales vat are purchases debit 100% vat control account debit 10% cash or trade payables credit 110% for sales we can write sales credit 110% vat control credit 10% where cash or trade receivables debit 110% according to my previous part 100% means without vat 10% means vat 110% means with vat if i draw if i develop vat control account i can put purchase vat in the debit side and sales vat in the credit side how to memorize it it's very simple purchase is normally debit side therefore vat on purchase also debit sales generally in credit side therefore sales vat always in credit side for purchase vat we can say vat paid for the sales vat we can say vat collected right we can expect vat can be appear in three places in your accounting paper first point we can find it in company accounts company accounts is the compulsory question in your second paper and you will get it as a first question first compulsory question then as second point you can find it in primary books as third point you can find it in accounting equation if we analyze our past papers you can find first two cases already examine a question so the third one you have to be very careful right so in company accounts you will get a trial balance with some additional information i gave one trial balance separated vat and the right hand side you have trial balance included vat so in your left hand trial balance purchases and vat on purchases separated sales and vat on sales separated if you get this kind of trial balance it's very simple to find vat vat control account if you develop vat control account it's very simple vat on purchases you have to put debit side vat on sales you have to put in credit side once you balance you get balance carried down and balance brought forward as 500 now in this case my bbf came on credit side which means i have to record that 500 in current liabilities as vat payable if you get bbf in debit side that means it is a current asset therefore you have to record it in current assets in sofp as vat receivables right if you get 
purchases and sales with VAT, like your right hand side trial balance, what you have to do? What you have to do? You have to formulate this equation with that you can find VAT amount. So, what is that? VAT included value should be divided by 100% plus VAT percentage and you have to multiply it with VAT percentage. According to my example, 3300 is the VAT included value. So, I assumed my VAT is 10%. Therefore, you have to divide 3300 by 110% and you have to multiply it with 10%. Then you can find VAT percentage. From the total 3300, if you remove VAT 300, you can find without VAT purchase. After that, after you found VAT on purchase and VAT on sales by applying this equation, again you can develop this VAT control account and you can find BBF. Based on the BBF, you have to write that value in current asset or in current liability right so I'm moving to second point where you get VAT in primary books okay in actual sense we can separate our primary books into few categories so out of that primary books, I take four out. Purchase journal, purchase return journal, sales journal and sales return journal. For all four, I give you common format as first value column is without VAT column, second value column is VAT column, third value column is with VAT. As example, I take purchase journal. So the total value of the without VAT column should be recorded in purchase account. Then the total value of VAT column should be debited to VAT control account. Then the total value of the with VAT column should be credited to trade payables account. Likewise, you can apply theory for other primary books. Next important area is how VAT can be appear in accounting equation. For that I gave a question. Sold stock worth 200,000 for 550,000 including VAT 50,000. If you get this kind of transaction, how we are going to enter this information in accounting equation. So when I am going to sell stock, my inventory go down. Therefore, first entry inventory column minus 200,000 then the then my total selling price is 550,000 including wet 50,000 then I know my full selling price is 550,000 which is on credit base including wet 50,000 therefore my trade receivable should go up with 550,000 we put first entry inventory minus 200,000 trade and the second entry trade receivable plus with 550,000. So if I remove 50,000 my sales I get my sale as 500,000. So if I forget about VAT for a while I sold stock worth 200,000 for 500,000. In that point, we can identify profit of 300,000. Profit should be recorded in capital account. Therefore, capital should be increased by 300,000. Then my left hand side, which means asset side, I put minus 200,000 and plus 550,000. That means there is a gap of 350,000. So in my right hand side I put capital plus 300,000. That means I have to record another 50,000 
which is VAT as plus entry. So under VAT, I have to put 50 as plus entry. Then you entered your transaction. This VAT 50,000 arose due to sale. That means sales VAT is our liability. That is why we put sales liability, sales VAT as liability in credit side of VAT control account. If we sell, our liability goes up. That is why we put plus 50,000 under VAT. And if you get a purchase, purchase VAT, it should be negative entry in the same column. Okay. With this video, I hope you learn something and we will meet with another video like this. Thank you.